My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path, Path of the Network of the Marketer. Network All right, Marketer. welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I want to talk about manipulation. That's right, manipulation. Specifically, ethical manipulation. Now, I have to be honest, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I'd never heard of it, uh, and, and I'll get into that in just a second. Um, but the topic of manipulation was, it's just been on my mind recently. Somebody that I care about, somebody close to me has... Um, lately been experiencing uh, some manipulation. So I decided to talk about it on a Facebook Live recently and, and just explain the mechanism of manipulation, the behavioral pattern, why it exists, um, and how we can prevent uh, ourselves from being manipulated, right? Um, I don't want to go too deeply in that. If you're interested in that at all, come find me on Facebook, Ronnie Cruz 11 and you can go find my talk from... Um, from that day. I mean, the title is Manipulation. Um, what I do want to talk about is during that live, um, somebody asked the question, I, what is your opinion on ethical manipulation? And I was completely baffled because number one, I'd never heard of that term before, ethical manipulation. And number two, it just sounded just to me completely nuts, <laughs> like, like completely nuts. It sounded like a complete oxymoron. Um, ethical manipulation like there i don't know that there's any ethics in manipulation in my opinion and so i haven't actually even bothered to to, to research it or, or or look into it um because i mean it, it just seems like justification for getting somebody to do something that they otherwise wouldn't have done um and and i i don't i don't want to get involved in that you know we talk about coercion and manipulation and marketing i certainly don't do that i mean you know my philosophy here with at path of the network marketer and with any business that i that i do um and that i have it's it's people over profits right uh, and, you know that that's my own personal sensibility and and how i want to run my business how i want to do things and so a concept that sounds as crazy as ethical manipulation does to me, I, I don't, I'm not even interested in, in, in taking a peek of, about what that means because, uh, I mean, manipulation to me is removing choice, right? Removing choice from, from another individual to get them to do um, what you think, what, what you want them to do, basically. And, and I really don't believe or feel, yeah, I don't believe that there's anything ethical about removing somebody's choice. There really like isn't. Um, and, and even if you say something like, well, you know, it's for their own good, that's not up to me to decide, right? Like what, what, who am I to judge what's good for somebody else's life? Um, you know, that, that's, that's their own life to live and their own decisions to make. And if I remove that decision, if I remove that choice, then, then I am not going to be able to sleep at night. Right. So so, you know, whatever justification anybody has for this definition, um, for the definition of of this term ethical manipulation, I don't know that that there is any version that would be that would give me pause and would make me want to listen to it again. Look, you run your business the way you want to run your business that you you do you do things that that um, you can sleep at night with right uh, whatever the saying is right um <laughs> but but i personally i would suggest um because this is how i roll i would suggest not resorting to manipulative tactics and and i know that especially in a case where it's network marketing and and um you know online marketing we take a lot of our own kind of um, baggage into the equation. And so if we have deep-seated patterns of manipulation, unconscious patterns of manipulation, then we can bring that into, um, into our marketing and into our sales. So, I mean, that's why, that's why personal development and mindset work is so important. Right. If you if you if you don't know that you're being manipulative and, and, and then that comes out and comes across in your marketing and in your sales. Um, yeah, people are going to feel a certain way about you. I guarantee you that. Sure, you might be able to make some sales. Um, but at the end of the day, what I've what I've seen and observed uh, in people's businesses who use mani manipulative tactics is that they don't last long. The businesses themselves. Um, the sales that they do generally are one time and the people that they end up um, being able to manipulate into buying and making purchases, um, yeah, end up not liking them in the long run, right? So, so there's, there's so much at stake. Um, but for me, at the very least, it's, it's yeah, I, 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 have, I, I refuse. I refuse to take away your choice, right? And so no matter, no matter 
yeah, no matter what anybody's definition of ethical manipulation is, I, I, I just don't buy it, man. I just don't buy it. Remember, people over profits, allow them the choice, respect them, um, and, and do, them, do them the solid of, of, of leaving it up to them. Um, and your business is going to be much happier. And honestly, like I said, I think you'll be able to sleep better at night. And that's what it boils down to. So that's my take on ethical manipulation. I, I don't know. If you have a different point of view, let me know. I mean, let's talk about it. But I, I, don't, I just don't see any, any way, shape, or form where that, that term, those two words, can make sense together. <laughs> really, I really don't understand it. So um, if, you, yeah, if, if you have a different take and, and you, you care to go through the trouble to help me understand, please, I'm, I'm always open. I mean, I, I, I'm never above admitting to being wrong. Um, but this is just where my stance is right now at this point. People over profits. Let's 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 keep allowing people the choice, right? Right. All right. So that's my message for today. More from me tomorrow. So until then, be well, be safe. I'll see you in the next episode.